Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here. I'm back home. Oh my God, it feels so good to be home. I was literally only gone for two weeks, but it, it honestly felt like two months. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, it was a lot. I'm just happy to be home. There's nothing like your own home. And I've had a nice shower in my own shower and I just feel refreshed. So there's no time to rest for the wicked. I've got my two big bags here that I need to unpack. I brought a crap load of stuff home with me that was my stuff that I've just got to sort out and put back here. So that's all in the craft room. Hopefully we'll get to that today. The main thing I wanted to do today is unpack my bags, give my room... <laughs> here she comes! <laughs> Didn't even get through one vlog <laughs> without the pest. Oh, and we've got some exciting things to show you. You're going to show them later on, yeah? I guess. Yeah, I think so. Well, hopefully the weather is nice. We can actually really show them, give them a demonstration. So, yeah, we've got some exciting things to show you in Jesse's world. So today I've got a lot to get done. It's currently Friday. It's my rostered day off, so I've got three-day weekend. I've got a lot to pack into this weekend. I want to start spring cleaning my house because it's spring here in Australia at the moment. Yes. And even though like Michael and the kids kept the house really nice and clean, it needs a mother's clean. To be so honest, we only cleaned it yesterday because we knew you were coming home. I could have guessed that, but either way, it was nice to come home to a clean house. But yeah, clearly my bedroom needs a mother's touch. All the rooms need the mother's touch. And considering it's spring and the, the, the house really needs it. It needs that yearly spring clean. So I'm going to unpack all my stuff. We're going to strip the bed. Well, they haven't been changed since I've gone. And they were on for a week before I went. So three weeks worth of bed sheets <laughs> need to be washed. We're going to do all the things. I've got a heap of unboxings to do. I had a lot of posts come through the mail while I was gone. So I've got a few things to um, unbox in that regard. Let's just get stuck in. Let's chit chat because I'm not gonna fit it all in if I keep yapping. Oh, and I wanna sort my wardrobe out as well. I've already been doing a little bit of reorganizing in there and I'm loving the way it looks. So I'll take you in there and show you what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna start going through my clothes and I've got a way of doing that to sort my clothes out and get rid of stuff that I'm not gonna wear. So I'll show you that. It's probably not a new idea, but it just came to me and I thought, that's a really good idea. I'm gonna do that and that way I will get rid of any clothes that I know I'm not gonna wear. So I figured the best way to do it was just bring my bag in here, unpack everything. Oh, I did get a new overnight bag too. This I really, really love. I bought this from Kmart. I think it was about $30, $30 $35. But my God, does it fit a lot of clothes in. I love that it's like like the denim look with the brown. And yeah, it's a really good, good quality bag. So if you're looking for like a weekender bag or overnight bag, um, and this is your kind of style, check out Kmart. And yeah, so I'm back from my dad's. I got everything sorted out there that I needed to get sorted out, got him sorted out, got some appointments done with him. And like I was saying in my previous vlog, I went to look at a few like aged care homes just to see what the whole process is in regards to what we need to do if, if, the, if and when the time comes he needs to go into an aged care home. I mean, I've discussed it with my dad, like it's not like I'm keeping it a secret from him because I said you know, there's going to come a time when he's either not going to be able to look after himself properly. So I have discussed it with him and my dad's pretty easy going. He's not fussed either way. I don't think it's time yet. I think he's all right in his own home for now. But yeah, I mean, if his dementia gets much worse or he's having trouble functioning and looking after himself, I mean, then obviously, yeah, we will definitely look at it when it comes. So at least I've got it straight in my head now, what the kind of the procedure is and, you know, as far as financing it and all of that sort of thing, that was the main, my main concern was, you know, could we even afford it? So I don't know if it works differently in other countries, but yeah, they've got a, a way of doing it here in Australia that it sounded really complicated <laughs> to me at first when I didn't know what the whole process was, but 
yeah as i got it explained to me it kind of made a lot more sense so yeah we got all that sorted out now for my wardrobe what i was planning to do is i am going to wear every single item in my wardrobe so if you can see here at the top here is where i keep all the black navy blue and dark colors so i'm going to push them all over to the the, the side and i'm just going to pick the very i'm not going to choose what i want to wear for the next couple of days like for the next probably a few weeks until i get through all these i'm just going to pick the first thing the first top that's here and wear it for that day and if i put it on and i don't it's too tight too big too small i don't like the fit or whatever it's going to go off the hanger and donated or chucked whatever needs to happen so yeah i'm not even going to pick what i want to wear each day it's just going to be whatever is the next shirt in the row and we're going to work through them all until i've dwindled down to the clothes that i actually wear because i find i've got a lot of blank t-shirts like ones that don't have motives on them or that you know they're all the same color and I think I'm, I find I'm not reaching for them because I'm, you know, wanting to wear something either a bit more colourful or with a graphic on it. So, yeah, that way I think will be a good way to weed out anything that's not fitting right or that you just don't like anymore. Just don't even choose what to wear. Pick the first item and put it on. If it doesn't fit or it's not comfortable, chuck it off. Take the next one. So... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do for the next, however long it takes me to get through all my t-shirts. Maybe a month, I reckon. Probably got more than 30 t-shirts there. But if I find that I put one on, like put it on for the morning, and I go, oh yeah, no, nah, this is too small, or I don't like it, I'm going to take it off straight away and put the next one on. And then, yeah, wear that for the day if I like it, and then start with the next one. I don't know, that's obviously probably not a new idea, but... It was an idea that came to me and I thought that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to continue putting all my t-shirts away and I will then show you how what I've just, you probably can't see it on camera at the moment, but then I'll show you how I've reorganized my wardrobe as well. All right, so I've just given my wardrobe a quick tidy up, neatened it up a little bit. So this is the change. <laughs> I've created my own little department store of Dove products in my wardrobe. So originally I had them all stored in these uh, drawers here. But what I found, because I had my clothes on the shelves and they were getting a bit dusty. So I just figured... I may as well just store the clothes in the drawers, which makes more sense. And then I've got all of this out. Okay, yes, this may get dusty as well, but at least I can see what I've got. So I know I don't need to buy any more. So this goes back fairly deep <laughs> of all my products, but I really love it. I love the way it looks. I've kind of got it in some sort of order so i've got all my dove soaps there and again they go back about three three or four deep <laughs> um and all of my dove creams oh my god makes me so happy so yeah i've got all my excess products on the shelf now easy to see easy to grab i have my towels all of our towels that we store up there so and i'll show you the drawers in a minute so now onto the wardrobe. I've even given Michael's side a little bit of a neaten up. I haven't color coordinated his clothes or anything like that because I don't think he works that way. I think he has kind of like categories of clothes. So I think he's got like workout gear here, work shirts here, pajamas here. And then he's got sort of like the better sort of weekend t-shirts when he's you know going to the shops or whatever. And then um, we've got a section of Christmas t-shirts here and then the working on the car type t-shirts, you know, the ones that are a bit da daggy and dowdy. So, yeah, he kind of works differently to me. I've straightened up all of his side of the shelf. So he's got all his hats there. We've got track pants there, 
track shorts there and then cargo shorts there and then just in these drawers we've got then we've got nicer more going out kind of shorts and then we've got all these jeans like lined up there and then the bottom drawer I think is just some RM Williams shirts that he didn't want to hang up because they sort of pull out of shape and then on his side, he's just got all his jackets and jumpers. Again, I haven't done any colour coordinating for him. It's just how he has it. So for my side now, so we've got all of my black, navy and darker grey t-shirts up the top here. And then here, this section is my Christmas shirts. And then I've kind of done like a colour coding type of system <laughs> for the rest of them so I sort of got like blues greens purples pinks whites it's not in the rainbow order it's just an order that you know kind of makes sense to me so what I plan to do now starting with this very first shirt is that's the one I'm going to wear tomorrow and then every day I'm just going to wear whatever shirt is next in line until I have gotten through all of them and then, like I said, the ones that either are not fitting, I don't like, or for whatever reason I don't want, they're going to go. And yeah, then I'll be just left with pretty much the shirts that I wear. So that's really all the clothes I have, just t-shirts basically. I don't have any going out clothes or anything like that. And then on this side, I've just got my jumpers, again, in a kind of colour coordinated way, and jackets on that end. So now in my drawers is where I keep, these are all of my working yoga pads. So the yoga pads I'm currently rotating through, the ones that are actually getting worn. This is all of my pyjama and lounging around the house kind of pants. And then the bottom drawer is all my brand new yoga pants. So ones that are still got tags on, I haven't worn yet. So, you know, as these ones start to get too faded and too disgusting to wear, I'll throw those ones out and then move on to a new pair. So that's all in there. Then in this drawer, I've still got all of my hair care tools, which currently don't get used quite a lot at the moment until my hair grows. So here I have all of my jeans, which... I really don't wear like I don't even know if any of those fit so that might actually go through the same process as my t-shirts I'll just try on a pair if it fits keep it if it doesn't get rid of it I'm not a big jeans person I love the look of them I love denim and I love it but I'm just not comfortable in them especially when I've got yoga pants you know um, and then I've got an empty drawer which is good and then the other two sets of drawers on that side are just Michael's stuff I didn't even look at what's in them to be honest it's just all his crap so I just leave his stuff as it is so that's my wardrobe done and I'm really happy about so I've unpacked my clothing bag and we've tidied up the wardrobe now I'm just going to unpack my excess toiletries that I brought home from my dad's and then we'll start cleaning this place because I want to clean the bathroom clean all the bedroom and get it looking nice
bedroom's all done. I'm clean, the bed's clean, the sheets are clean, the room's clean, the bathroom's clean, everything's clean. So when I hop into bed tonight, it's just going to feel like heaven. There's nothing else more comforting than your own bed after you've had a nice shower and everything's clean. I feel so much better now. So yeah, this is just the regular mother's clean and then next week we start spring clean. All right, so I've made it to my craft room and most of this stuff is stuff that I've brought home from my dad's that I've either took with me to use while I was there or it was just, yeah, stuff that I was using while I was at my dad's and now we've got to sort all this out so I can clear my whole desk because then I've got a few unboxings to show you guys. Mail that I've received while I was away. Um, and then I want to start some washing as well. The rain's just stopped, so yeah, probably for now anyway. So let's just tackle all of this crap. It shouldn't take long because most of it's just containers, like the storage boxes. And then I'll set my work computer up and we'll just get going with this room. Welcome back to Live It Like Lisa. Today, what are we doing? <laughs> cleaning my craft room. Today, we will be cleaning my craft room. As you can see behind me, it is a disaster. So, we'll be tackling that challenge today. And um, I hope you guys like the video. The video. And, um, I'm, I'm clutter with me. I'm clutter! <laughs> <laughs> Declutter, lady! Declutter! Oh, that's the one. <laughs> Room's reasonably clean. Not, I'm not, I haven't done the whole spring clean, but I just wanted to unbox some of these uh, things that I've got in the mail before I lose daylight. I mean, it's actually daylight savings now, so it's probably not going to be too bad, but also too while everyone's out of the house. Now, one of these, I'm going to open the big one first because this one's actually for Michael for his Christmas present. I actually asked him. To not watch this vlog and he's pretty good like that he'll he won't like half the time he don't, can't be bothered anyway but um yeah I was so keen to receive these I just hope they're not gonna make me cry because <laughs> uh, I think these are just gonna be a gorgeous gorgeous gift for Michael so yeah like I said these I'm gonna put away for Michael for Christmas but I just want to make sure that they haven't arrived damaged or anything like that so the first one I wanted to show you it's actually from a company called Paw Paint I will leave their details below if you're interested it is not sponsored I, I bought these myself obviously and these are going to be for Michael for his Christmas present so we've got a big picture there of chaos and then he's got his name and date of birth there so that's chaos's one and then we've got bandy so they're like a um i'm pretty sure they're like a digital 
like a digital print like I sent them a photo and um, and then they did this digital print of the photo and my god they've done a good job sorry for the glare but oh how beautiful is that they ju it's just them like it's exactly them that is actually for Michael's Christmas present so I'm hoping he doesn't spoil the surprise and watch this vlog I don't think he will though because he's not like that so I've got to put those away so so happy with those and yeah uh, Paul Paint I think their name their name was and they pretty much you can send a picture of any animal whatever you want um, and they do like a digital kind of like a digital watercolor of it so yeah super happy with that so that's the first thing the second thing was actually I think I've already shown this on my Instagram this is a company called uh, Talking Stones and we ordered and I'll, I'll insert a picture because it's already out in the garden we ordered um, a gravestone for Bandy it's like a sandstone gravestone plaque and yeah obviously two weeks later we also ordered Chaos's one so his one is still on its way it's got a, yeah again so happy with the whole thing that they've sent like that they've done um, absolutely beautiful uh, I also ordered this little it's like a sandstone I think it's like a sandstone paperweight uh, I was going to put this out in the garden as well but I'm not sure yet I don't know if I maybe just want to keep it here inside because it's just like a nice little size or I might end up putting it in the garden with the plaques and they also sent just a little um, a little river pebble with some butterflies on so yeah that one I didn't order they just sent that in but yeah again so so happy with with these absolutely beautiful again I'll leave all their details below and like I said chaos's one is still on its way so once we get that and we start setting up the little garden obviously I'll take you guys with us show you the whole thing as we do our whole life um, okay next I have let's go letter I have a, a card here from um, Eric and Linda thank you Linda I know I know Linda I think Linda was the one that sent me my very first and only Ray Dunn mug I remember Linda <laughs> I still use it every day for my coffee oh thank you so much so she sent me a lovely little card on the loss of your pet while it is on this earth that our pets live only a short time it is in our hearts that they live forever absolutely definitely oh thank you linda i'm not going to read it out i don't want to start bawling <laughs> bawling my eyes out again and yeah it is so like it's a mate i mean i know everyone's had pets and obviously you would have lost pets too not that it's comforting to know that there's other <laughs> other people out there that have lost pets but it it's it's comforting to know that you know i'm not the only one feeling this way i mean i know it's a bit dramatic but yeah i just yeah really really it's it's just really heavy in my heart you know like they're just such a um, a big part of our family's missing you know and just little things that remind me every day that they're not here you know like simple things like oh I don't have to worry about leaving the door open in case the cat gets out or if the dogs get in or you know we're getting some meat out of the freezer for dinner tonight and um, Michael pulled out like a packet of meat and it was bones for the dogs you know that they never got to eat so just little things like that you know I'm always that's when you're missing them you know because it's just such a different like it's just a change now just feels like a little bit empty, a little bit quieter, um, even though they weren't noisy dogs. But yeah, it's just definitely not the same. So thank you so much for your lovely card, Linda. I'm going to sit and read it properly off camera because I don't want to start crying again. But that's really lovely. Thank you so much. Next, I wanted to open... What have we got here? This one? I don't remember... Oh, Anna. Oh, Anna, you shouldn't have. So this one I already know. It's from my lovely friend Anna over in WA. Anna is the person that owns Hollywood Gifts. 
so if you've seen a few of my vlogs often around the Christmas time I put in an order of candles and uh, wax melts um, to Anna her candles are absolutely amazing like I not only do they look beautiful like the packaging is so beautiful but the smell oh my god one of them I've just started burning now I'm always reluctant to burn my favorite looking candles because I just want them to last forever but I just figured no I'm gonna enjoy it and then once I've enjoyed it I can buy another one like why am I saving it so I've just started burning it and it, it's a big the big one that's in my entryway uh, it's in a big amber candle jar with a lid and I think it's called the patchouli and musk oh my god it is beautiful it must be I think it even trumps the sexy man yeah definitely it trumps the sexy man candle it is just so beautiful so Anna has sent me something you sh really shouldn't have Anna that is so lovely of you I, um, I haven't even put my order in for this year yet so thank you so much already smell it it smells so good oh Anna that is so beautiful I don't know if you can see it on camera is it coming up it's got bandit 2013 to 2022 oh my god oh that is so beautiful sandalwood and vanilla i've ordered this scent before too i love it oh thank you so much anna that is beautiful to the walt family sorry for your loss love anna from hollywood gifts so again guys seriously check anna out she i mean she's amazing like she's just such a lovely person um and yeah all like her whole range is just beautiful not just candles she does homewares gifts reed diffusers wax melts like i think even jewelry i'm pretty sure i've seen like earrings and things so check out her instagram and facebook page i will leave all her details below as well and like i said i i'm i've only like i think for the last couple of years I always put in an order at christmas time to stock up on my um on my candles and things like that so yeah i'll definitely be putting another one in again this year i just love her candles oh they smell so amazing and that's like a um i think like a, a wood fire wick one so that it's i think it crackles as well that is so beautiful oh thank you i'll actually light i'm gonna put that just underneath where the tv is and light that for bandy oh that's so nice thank you so much and the last thing i wanted to unbox i have been expecting this delivery for a couple of weeks i received an email a couple of weeks ago asking if i wanted to try some of their products and if you remember guys the last vlog that i did before everything happened with the dogs i was about to start my healthy habits series and at that time i was about to order some collagen products from the collagen co it's just weird how things work like i swear it's happened to me a couple of times now with things like that like it happened with my cutting machines as well i ordered a cutting machine from silhouette and then about two days later i received an email from cricket to see if i wanted to try out their new machine so it's happened with that and it happened with this as well i swear i was about to put an order in for their sample prep pack of the collagen products and yeah just just before i was about to order it and have it all ready for my healthy habit series they contacted me to see if i wanted to try it out so of course i said yes i love the fact that they're an australian company as well so nice and local and yeah i've been really really keen to receive this so i can kick off my healthy habit series on monday which is when i'm planning to start it all off and i can um kick it off with starting to use the the new collagen products so let's open this up and see what products we have here awesome awesome all right so we have this is the box here how cool is the box i love that it came with a little card as well 
that's there so i think this is actually the exact product i was going to order so first of all we got the collagen co immunity collagen peptides in elderberry and raspberry flavor oh my god that sounds delicious so this one this product it's obviously a powder that you mix into a drink or you can mix it into a smoothie or anything like that and this one has 10,000 milligrams of collagen peptides per serve. And it also contains vitamin C, zinc, vitamin A, and vitamin D3. And that's actually what I love about that. If this is the immunity um, collagen peptide. So not only does it have the collagen in it, but it's also got immunity boosting vitamins in it as well. Because especially for me, I'm hopeless at taking vitamins. So if it's one product that's got a few different vitamins in it it's just all in the one drink i don't have to take like a million tablets so yeah very very keen to try that i'll be starting this out on monday so um yeah i'll film that and let you know let you guys know what i think the flavor sounds really nice elderberry and raspberry that's right up my alley i love anything like with the strawberry raspberry red sort of flavoring so yeah very keen to try that i'll let you know and this was the product i was actually gonna order because it's like a sample pack of all the flavors that they do so uh this one's um it's got like little 14 little sachets in it and the um flavors that comes in this mixed box you get two sachets of unflavored so that'd be perfect if you're putting it in maybe like a maybe your coffee or something like that where you don't really want any flavor in it it's got four mixed berry sachets four strawberry watermelon sachets they sound nice and four passion fruit mango sachets so yeah very keen to give those a go um, and obviously the flavored ones you can put in smoothies or just mix with water so yeah i definitely definitely very excited to try these because like as you know guys collagen it's all about your skin your hair your nails and all of that sort of thing and that's pretty much what i need i mean my skin's not too bad i guess for my age like i am nearly 50 my skin's not too bad but definitely i've got very thin in hair, very thin hair especially my little bald patch on top and my nails are just so soft and bendy so if i can take this and see a definite improvement in those i mean i've got pretty poor starting base so we will definitely see if there's any improvements over a few weeks and months of um of trying this out so yeah very keen to give this a go um i will do a full review and taste test for you guys on monday so that should be coming out to you very soon and that is my little unboxings very very happy with that and again thank you so much guys like for thank you anna for your gifts and linda for your card and for everyone that's like messaged me and sent me a comment they really did like cheer me up and you know make my heart full what i want to do now it's pretty much nearly dinner time so i'm going to just cook some dinner i might finish today off here and then we'll pick up the camera again tomorrow good morning everyone it is saturday i've still got quite a bit of cleanup to do today um i've actually got to clean the kitchen a little bit before we can even attempt to make some breakfast as you can see <laughs> there's stuff left over from what i brought back from my dad's house but we do have all of last night's dishes still out because no one could be bothered cleaning up last night. It was just too late. I think we ended up eating dinner around nine o'clock. Still got to, un, uh, what do you call it? Unpack the dishwasher, load all those dishes in, and then we can attempt to make some breakfast. Let's get this kitchen somewhat clean and then we'll start cooking some breakfast.
is clean. And then this one came in with parts of things, chromey, shiny things. I haven't mopped the floors yet. I really can't be bothered. I just, like everything looks tidy and clean now. I'm happy. I'm not doing a spring clean this weekend. I figured I'm just going to get the house mother clean, like clean enough that, you know, I'm happy with it. Again, I haven't done the floors. And then I think starting next week, I'm gonna tackle one room at a time and just give it the full spring clean. Like, you know, walls, ceilings, cobwebs, skirting boards, windows, carpets, everything. So yeah, we'll start that then. And I'm just gonna make myself a coffee now. Have a little bit of a break. You want one as well? Okay got a whole heap of shit just drying in there but yeah everything's been wiped down and is looking back to my standard of <laughs> clean <laughs> good morning everyone it is Sunday it's another wet day today and it hasn't stopped raining all weekend uh, I didn't film a lot yesterday I just basically cleaned my kitchen and kind of cleaned this living area up again even though there's you know someone's dishes there and it's just never ending, is it? And the kitchen's back to no one cleaned up yesterday's dinner either. So yeah, we'll do that when we get back. But today we have like an annual garden show here where we are, where they've like got a few little stalls set up and you can buy like plants and all of that sort of thing. And you can also buy like a, um, like a little program which has a map on it that, you know, you can go around to different people's gardens who have entered the garden competition or whatever and check out their gardens and all of that sort of thing. I don't think we're going to do that to be honest but we are going to go to the little market that they've set up. Our general store has just been taken over by new owners so they've done a big renovation in the general store and we really want to try out their coffee to see if it's any good because um, yeah we've been hearing a few things that they've got um, really nice coffee there. So yeah, we're gonna head down there today, even though it is a little bit soggy, and see what we get up to. And then I've got a few things to do when I get back today. Not so much cleaning, but just a few bits and pieces to, um, to film and show you guys. So yeah, I'll take you along. Homemade pies. I have <laughs> Well, see if I've got any pies or anything, Jess. So, you as a professional former barista, what's oh, your please, verdict? I'm the professional. What's, it was your, just verdict? There. what's your verdict on the coffee? Good coffee. Good coffee. We don't often hear a good coffee wherever we go, so that's a high, high recommendation. Vlog it. <laughs> I am literally the worst vlogger ever. So that was a chicken sandwich. <laughs> Very nice. And then that's Jessie's uh, lamb pie with some salad. Looks really nice. That's all that's left. What's the verdict? Good. That was delicious. This is the local schools garden beds look how nice they've got all their gardens oh they've got it all nice tomatoes beans oh look at their spring onions going wow i think they need to be harvested yeah the flowers well they got silver beet that's what we need to grow broccoli geez they're doing well I don't want, I don't need, I intend. Yes, so we're this intending for this to happen because I said that to Gary. Right? Zucchini. Zucchini is another good one to grow. Carrots. Wow, that's amazing. Got any huskies? Oh, look at that, that's crazy. There's some plants over there. Are they plants? Yeah. Looks like cutting. That is hilarious. One for your face, one for your beaver. <laughs> oh, one for your face, one for your schmeck. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> That's so funny. That is hilarious. 
beard and balls. Goaty and Scrooge. Yeah. Great for Secret Santa or? Yeah. Yeah. Love yeah. Love yeah. 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 Smooch and Cooch. <laughs> Have you got a bag? I've got a bag. That's so funny. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Are you local or have I'm you got a Foster. card or anything? I've got a card, yeah. Oh, awesome. Thank you. you. You're welcome. Thanks. It would be perfect for something like that. Yeah, yeah. You're quite welcome to pick it. Whatever. What's that one? <laughs> What's that bit? Be oh, uh, bearded. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Here you go. Chili powder. Oh, yeah, I think we've got enough. <laughs> veggies, or your organic veggies. How are you? Hi, good, thanks. Well, we weren't ready. See, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. It's sort of played here. Well, I'll tell you, still love it as an adult. Yeah, I do. It's just, it just, I love it. I've got to go swap over. I'll go first then. Yeah, let's watch the, watch the wait. Ten persons at a time. A thousand kilos, so two of me and we're done. <laughs> Just love this. Pick it up. After getting inspired at the garden show, we've decided to come to a garden centre and buy some flowers for the garden. Oh, they're pretty. Have a look at those. I like those. Yeah, I think they're the ones, these these kind, and these kinds are the ones that's at the roundabout. Well, I just got to see and see what they are and see if they grow a full sun. Say they do. It. Oh, they're pretty. I like that one. Oh, they're pretty. What are those? Fuchsia. I like those as well. Are they just called daisies? Oh no, agri. I like those. The oh, well, we're back. What an epic day! And we started off just going to the open gardens and ended up going to a garden center to buy flowers. Ended up doing a bit of shopping. So we're back home now. I think it's about four o'clock already. So yeah, I'm gonna put dinner on. We're just having a massive roast um, chook tonight with some veggies. And we just, I just demolished a heap of prawns. We bought some prawns. And because I hadn't eaten anything, I was starving. I just had my coffee in the morning, so I was starving. So yeah, I just had a few prawns, which are keto friendly. Bought some cleaners to get prepared for my spring cleaning, which I'm gonna start tomorrow. So I'll be filming it for you guys as part of the, the vlog. Okay, so that's not a jar of wheat. We've actually been creating some lemon chow. Well, well, it was my idea. I'm gonna take half the credit. We, yeah, we've, we had a heap I've of- I bought the stuff, I've harvested the lemon, I've the lemon, so we, I put it up every day. I showed you what to do though. We had a heap of lemons left over from the garden, uh, from our trees that we didn't know what to do with. So I was looking up online, what can you do with lemons? and limoncello came up as one of the suggestions and it's a i think it's an italian alcoholic drink so basically you cut all the rinds off the lemon like just the rind bit not the the do you, you don't take the white do you it's no. mainly just the rind um and soak it in a bottle of vodka like all the rinds how many lemons was there roughly about five four or five okay so say half a dozen lemons just thinly slice the yellow part off the rind without taking the white with it. Soak it in some vodka for a few weeks. I mean, it says a few days to whatever. It's just like basically once the rinds go white and the vodka goes yellow, you're pretty much done. Now this has been sat for a couple of weeks longer than probably normal because we actually forgot about it. So we've got to do the next part of the process now, which is making the sugar syrup to go in it to give it the sweetness. I'm not sure how keto friendly it's gonna be, 
probably not very much, but I think you only have like a little shot glass full, like a little shot glass of it. I think it's more like a palate cleanser. You either can have it before you have dinner as a appetite stimulant, I guess, or you can even have it after dinner as like um, a little after dinner, I don't know. <laughs> I've never had it before, but it sounded delicious. So yeah, we're just gonna cook up the syrup part now, add it to our limoncello and see if it tastes good. Okay, so here's where I found the recipe. I think it's on um, Good Food, BBC Good Food. And it's, that's what it's called, limoncello. I think that's how you say it anyway. So we have basically, there we go, here's the ingredients. Um, five unwaxed lemons, so if you grow your own, that's probably the best. A one litre bottle of vodka, and now the next step is 750 grams of caster sugar. So yeah, probably not keto friendly. And then 700, gram, uh, 700 ml of boiling water. So it basically says you pair the zest from the lemons Take care not to include the white pilf. Put the zest in a large clean jar, pour over the vodka, cover with a tightly fitting lid and leave for a week, shaking the jar each day. And then step two is what we're gonna do now. Put the sugar in a heat proof bowl and pour over the boiling water, stirring until the sugar has dissolved. Add the vodka and peels and leave for a further week and shake the jar regularly. All right, well that's easy, let's do that. All right, well, I don't have quite enough sugar as what the recipe says. I think I've got about 500 grams and it wanted about 750 grams, but I've been looking at other recipes and I don't think it really matters. I think it's, you know, really according to taste. So we're just gonna go with what we've got. That seems like a freaking awful lot of sugar to me. I don't know. So that's about 500 grams of sugar. I think we'll do three cups of water. I don't think it really matters to be honest. This is just to sweeten it, so. Let's just do three cups. That's two cups. Let's mix that. That's a hell of a lot of sugar. I'm gonna to have to check the carb content. <laughs> I don't think I can have this on a regular basis doing keto. That is for sure. And I've got, I found a bigger jar. So once this cools down a little bit, then we can um, put it in the bigger jar. I think I'll pour all this in here. Good. Then I think I've got to let this cool a little bit because this jar can't withstand sudden temperature changes. So I might just let this cool. And then yeah, I think we'll have our limoncello in a couple of weeks. So that'll be interesting. We'll come back once it's done. We've got all our little plants that we bought today just sitting in the puppies garden. Um, over the next couple of weeks, well, once we get some decent weather, um, oh god, I've got no carrots. I literally have nothing for you to eat. You're only coming because you think there's food. There's no food. Now you're not interested. So yeah, over the coming weeks, once we get some better weather, we're gonna edge out a little garden here and then just start planting some plants. So we've got Bandit's little little gravestone on there already. Stand it! Oh Jesus! Why bloody... Jesus, Jesus Christ! And then poor little chaos here. So side by side, right underneath the kitchen window so they're nice and close. And um, yeah, once chaos's um, gravestone comes, I'm going to put that there. And yeah, make a nice little garden bed for the puppies. Now, I want to go show them I'm going to use the little video. It's literally in pieces. Oh, really? The whole thing? Because it, does it still look like yeah, an actual yeah. thing? All right. Well, because I've still got the video that Dad sent me when you were riding it. So I'll insert that. But at least we can sort of see how shiny it's looking at the moment. Because Dad can't. I know. He just can't keep anything intact. He has to rip it all apart, fix it all up so it's all brand new again. So this is Jessie's new mode of transport what the hell <laughs> can you believe it i mean i'm actually 
scared to death she's going to be writing this, but at the same time, I'm so jealous of how freaking good it looks. It is such a nice looking little bike and is virtually the exact same bike I had when I had my, when I used to ride motorbikes, but mine was black and gray. Um, so yeah, she's got pretty much the same motorbike that I had. I was a bit older than you when I had it though, so, but yeah. Jessie's new mode of transport. <laughs> wow. So yeah, her and Michael have been working on it since they brought it home, basically pulling it all apart, making it all shiny and new, fixing all the parts because it was a lot more rustier and not as clean looking as it looks right at this minute. They've spent quite a few days on it, getting it back to brand new. So yeah, how cool is that? Little Yamaha Lee. I've never seen it in the red and the cream before. I think it looks so good. So, Jessie's going for her learners for the motorbike tomorrow and Tuesday. There's a learners course that you need to do for a motorbike. Mm. So she's going there to do that. Well, they just basically teach you how to ride it. Yeah, I mean, you basically know. I'll insert, because it's, you know, I was going to, before they ripped it all apart, we were going to film Jessie actually riding it, but her dad got some... Uh, footage of her riding it before they pulled it all apart so I'll insert that for you guys but um yeah she pretty much knows how to ride it but you just need to learn well you yeah. have to do it yeah you got to do it and it's also just you'll probably learn new things that you didn't know before and you know how to handle the traffic you've got the to... light fell off no, he it. ripped it out <laughs> the light fell off it was on there before when I came out So I think I'm gonna finish the vlog off here. I'm just letting that syrup cool down and I'm gonna add it to the limoncello. Then we let that sit again for another week and then you can strain all the liquid out of the, you know, separate the lemon peels from the liquid and put the liquid into some nice decorative bottles for serving. So it, I think it's gonna taste delicious to be honest. So yeah, but again, probably not keto friendly. So over the next, coming weeks I'm going to be starting my spring cleaning because here in Australia it's actually spring at the moment so yeah over the next few vlogs I'm going to start tackling each room and doing a spring clean getting done all the projects that I need to do in each room uh, for example like in the dining area here I want to paint all of these chairs white finally any little projects that are still left undone in the rooms that's all going to be part of the spring cleaning process god it only feels like a few weeks ago that i did it and i can't believe it's like a whole year since i last did it like the, you know there's going to be a big clean like the windows the blinds the skirtings the cobwebs cornices the walls repainting the walls where they need it touching the up, grout floors demolding the whole lot like every, everything a big spring clean so look forward to that coming up in the next few weeks vlogs i'm not going to do it as a separate series i'll just do it as part of my vlogs because i'm going to be starting it throughout the week so generally i don't normally vlog throughout the week i just do like a weekend vlog because i don't tend to do much during the week 
but because I've got a lot to get through, I'll be doing a little bit after work every day because it's staying daylight now a lot longer as well. So yeah, the first room I'm going to be tackling tomorrow, which is Monday, that's when I'll be starting my vlogging off, will be the laundry room. I always start in the laundry because it's the small, like it's a small room, it's an easy room, no one else really uses it to muck it up apart from me. So, you know, it's one room that I can do and it will stay done. And then I'll work my way around to all the other rooms, I guess, that don't get used as much and then pretty much do the main living area, which is this big room and kitchen last. I just don't like feeling like I'm chasing my towel. Like I'll do the whole kitchen living area and then move on to the next room and this one's all messed up again. So I kind of do the main living areas last and that way. I feel like I'm getting somewhere and not just chasing my tail. So yeah, if you enjoy spring cleaning and all of that sort of thing, that will all be coming up. Like I said, as well as a few home projects. So I wanna paint all the tables in my craft room. I wanna paint all of the dining chairs that we're sitting on. There's a lot of touch-ups on the walls where we've taken shelving, the wall shelves off, and we've just patched them up. So we need to sort of fix those and repaint. I really, really would like to get the theater room finalized and finished. Uh, really, that only just needs to have all the bar room stuff removed from it and taken to Michael's shed so yeah if over the coming weeks we can do that so we can have a nice theater so, so the whole house will be complete there won't be a single room that's a junk room there won't be a single place that's not finished or still waiting to be done I'm hoping by the end of this year my whole house will pretty much be complete because then I want to start working on the gardens and everything outside as well. So, you know, the puppies gardens really motivated me to get going with that as well. So I want to start getting, you know, the outside of the house looking a little bit prettier as well, just with lots of flowers and things everywhere. So that will also be coming up. What else? I'm just looking down because I've got myself a little list. Cleaning products. So yeah, I've got all my cleaning products uh, ready to go for the spring clean. I, we went today uh, after we went to the garden center and I've stocked up on everything I need so that's all done the other thing I wanted to start doing too because I'm not getting a lot of time to answer I mean I like to reply to everyone's comments that that leaves a comment on my videos but I'm just really struggling to find the time to get to them all so what I might even start trying doing is especially those comments that maybe have asked a question or something like that rather than reply in the comment section I might actually include it as a little bit of an um, added uh, like a little added segment at the end of my vlog so you know if there's any questions that people have asked I can um, just reply to them in the vlog rather than typing them in the comments below so yeah let me know your thoughts on that if you think that might be a good idea also I'm going to start filming today getting ahead like I'm doing the introduction I'm finally getting my healthy habits series up and running that was supposed to happen pretty much the day after Bandit died, like Bandit passed on the Sunday and I was supposed to start that on the Monday. But yeah, just with everything that happened, obviously that went out the window. So I'll be starting my Healthy Habit series tomorrow. I'm gonna start filming the intro today. Don't you come inside, Rolly. Oh my God, this horse. <laughs> Is he all ready to just walk straight in this house? If I'm not careful. Don't you come in. I'm trying to like encourage the cat to go outside, but I think she's still a bit iffy if the dogs are there. <laughs> Don't even think about stepping inside. I know he does. I can see him. If I had a carrot sat on that table, I guarantee he'd just walk straight in and take it. <laughs> you menace. You're a bloody menace. I love um, him. I do love him so much. But you're a menace. You know this. So where was I? Yes, so I'll be kicking off my healthy habits tomorrow. So I plan, I don't know if I've said this in my very last, not the last one I did, but the one before everything happened. I'm planning to do two videos a week at this stage. So we've got my normal weekend vlog which obviously I film over the weekend and then release that on the Wednesday. And then this is my plan anyway for now. 
and then I plan to do a weekly healthy habits vlog Monday through to Friday and then release that on the following Monday so I'm thinking that's going to work because um, it will give me a couple of days to edit each one so if I film and vlog over the weekend it will give me Monday Tuesday to edit and then Wednesday to release and then if I film my healthy habits Monday through to Friday just like snippets of what I'm doing throughout that week towards my healthy habits then I've got the weekend to edit and release that Monday so I'm tr trying trying to get two videos out to you guys each week which again will mean I won't have as much time to answer everyone's comments hence why I want to add it as a little segment at the end of my vlogs to maybe answer any questions or just you know quickly reply to a few comments as part of the vlog so that's my plan. So the first Healthy Habits uh, video that I'll have coming out next Monday will be pretty much the intro, what I'll be doing, uh, my first weigh-in. So I'll explain how it all works in the first um, Healthy Habits vlog. But um, yeah, so let me know what you think. Also, the other video I want to try and add to my little repertoire, a monthly favourites video, but I don't want to add that as a separate video. I want to add that as part of the um, end of month vlog. So, you know, whichever is the last weekend of the month, um, I will do like a monthly favourites incorporated into that vlog. So, yeah, those are my plans so far. I have had a lot of these plans, wanting to put them in place, but just with everything that happened, they all got sort of thrown on the back burner. Definitely motivated to kick all this off in the next few weeks. So look forward to that. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. And bye for now. And bye for now.